trying to stay safe now and stay on board, I think. 55 seconds with 7K to go. There's this long run down the uh, seafront here, and there are the seven hopefuls. Now, they're within sight. The bunch have sight of them. 50 seconds, 49 it is, with seven to go, and uh, they're starting to possibly think about it here. Uh, they've still got a pace about them, still got a pace about them. I think they're doomed, uh, but uh, the legs are starting to beat them here. Yeah, you can just see his eyes went through there, and, uh, you know, he was saying to uh, Kaneki, He's on his hands and knees at the moment. He doesn't race at this uh, speed often and knees uh, with these sort of riders and just struggling a wee bit. As we said, we've got strength and weaknesses in this uh, front group. They are hanging on there. Uh, and it's going to be very, very soon that they're going to pull the team cars out that breakaway. Ignatiev uh, Kaiser looks very fresh indeed here. Kaiser might have to do this all on his own here. Uh, he certainly looks um, like a predator at the moment. Uh, don't know whether anyone's sandbagging there. Andre Zeitz has been uh, relaying and saving himself. There he is for Astana. Comes to the point right now. Six to go, 46 seconds the gap. Yeah, I fully committed these uh, riders. Uh, a few people starting to feel it. Uh, Ignatiev at the back. Um, Godin also looked to be struggling a wee bit. Kaneki was tr struggling to get by Ze Zeitz. And, and that's what that's can affect it, the mentality of uh, Kaiser and some other of the stronger riders in the group. When when do we go on our own? When do we leave the dead wood behind? And even if someone can can do a turn, it's always better than uh, nothing. We see uh, Argos still riding at front, but just look just behind them pretty much the whole team of Rabobank. Wow, they're up for it. News uh, on uh, Adam Hansen, shoulders bad but not broken. Yeah, we said about ligaments getting stretched. Well, they're going to stretch a few here, these boys, and look at Rabobank. Uh, they've been greedy. We said they would be, and Saxobank want to join the party. JJ Ado is the man they're thinking about, and suddenly the news has got through up front. Well, the freshest of the men was Ilio Kaiser, and he said, to hell with this, I'm away, I'm away. And if anyone wants to join me, they can come. Well, they're holding back just for now. 43 seconds, 5K to go. Well, 30 seconds would be it, I think. Has he got the strength to do this alone? They're all looking at each other, looking back, looking back. Can anyone do it? Andre Zeitz, I think, might well think about bridging the gap, and he's going to go off for a starter here in the pale blue, is he? Well, he's going to drag a few with him. Uh, hooking across the road, Ignatiev, but Kaiser has gone here. Yeah, it's a surprise that with uh, two Europe car riders in this uh, front group that not one of them could go with Kaiser. Kaiser did look the strongest, especially in the, these sort of terrain. He decided he wants to go himself. But back to the front of the bunch, I did notice that Teal Boss is in front of uh, Paul uh, uh, Graham Brown. Uh, with uh, Mark Renshaw behind Graham Brown. So that says to me that they've decided to go with Renshaw today for, for Australia. There you go. Uh, they've been in bullying mood, uh, Rabobank. And they're certainly doing it at the moment because uh, they've thrown it down. This man, though, has decided to go alone. He's, uh, he's absolutely fed up trying to form alliances and doing most of the work at the front. So he was nursing some of them. Oh, starting to chug Andre Zeitz here. He just can't keep on the wheel here. A couple of uh, Europe car riders looking at each other, saying, are we going to have a go here on our own? Or who are we going to take with us? Ignatiev is with them, but uh, Kaiser has sprung out here and gone for it. Can he do a decorado? The man from Colnago who went alone from distance. Well, we're about to find out under one of the underpasses here. A lot of crowds have turned out and suddenly the bunch responds here and again Colnago think about some uh, a little bit of glory here today uh, Saxo Bank what have they got United Healthcare also getting involved in Lamprey uh, they've got a big big weight to pick up at the moment a misfiring Alessandro Pataki will he be there this man is though on his own with four to go yeah this is a supreme effort by uh, Kaiser at the moment uh, because uh, he's gone alone and uh, a lot of the riders will be in the bunch will be looking at uh, the uh, rest of the breakaway. There's uh, seven, uh, six riders behind them, and if they catch the seven riders, they might not see Kaiser in front and they might misjudge it. We still get four kilometres to go, still a healthy enough advantage. Depends how hard uh, or, or if he, he blows up at all, but uh, the energy is, is totally out of these uh, six other riders and they're going to get caught very, very quickly soon. They are. Last kick from Godin, uh, the big man of the two from uh, Europe car. Um, he's uh, wearing number. 164 and here come the charges now they've got sight of them uh, they are what 29 seconds away from them uh, but uh, there is one man up the road who's decided to go on his own it's Ilya Kaiser uh, they may well start strategizing and sitting up their team
Team Radios will be screaming at them, that's for sure. Keep going, keep going, because one man has gone off, and here he is. Well, 3K to go, he could do this. Yeah, to tell you what, Carrollton, there's the no race radios in this. They can see the breakaway just in front, but they won't know that uh, Kaiser has actually attacked the breakaway. So they're trying to judge at the moment. Uh, you've got uh, Saxo Bank coming to the front in the, the blue on the right-hand side, but also you've got... Uh, United Healthcare on the left with the uh, the black and the white stripes, but uh, looking very good for uh, Kaiser now. Yeah, it is. Well, uh, there we are. Mistakes can be made, and are they going to catch uh, the six riders? Uh, they knew there were seven up the road. They should be asking themselves, where's the other guy? Did we miss him? Was he on the side of the road? No, he's up the road. Ilya Kaiser has strung out here. He's sprung it. Oh, here he is. He's going to go under the two-to-go banner in a moment, and he's going to be in the bird seat because he's going to hit that Flam Rouge at one. It's the big switchback, don't forget. It comes at the top of the park, and then he's going to have a party. It's going to be a walk in the park for him. Takes this gentle right-hander here. Oh, he can choose all the lines. Well, what script it is. He's writing it at the moment. And 14 seconds is the deficit, and the bunch are going to catch these guys, but they're going to make the mistake of not knowing that there's a man up the road. Big struggles here for Zeitz. And a huge effort by Kaiser. I think he's got the drop on everybody. The Flam Rouge beckons for him and here come the charges. We dip down the helicopter and there it is, the head of the Viper. Well, it looks like they've knocked it off just a little bit. Uh, maybe, maybe thinking it's only going to be minor positions here today. Well, let's go. Conago at the front, followed by Saxo Bank, but I believe the bunch can see this uh, breakaway in front and don't believe that uh, anybody is in front of them and have made a big mistake. And, uh, you know, by sitting back a wee bit, the more teams should have kind of ridden harder. But it looks as if it's uh, the uh, day of Amiga Pharma. They haven't won anything in the Tour of Turkey this year, apart from the King of the Mountains jersey. Rabobank have won two stages, Kilnago won two stages, Lotto won, Konya won, but uh, this looks very much like the day of Amiga Pharma and, and Kaiser. It absolutely does. Here is your switch. Bang! Oh, no! He's down! Oh, count the seconds! Quickly remount! Get yourself sorted! His chain's off! His chain's off! Oh, nightmare scenario! What a shame! Count the seconds back! They're going to get him! Oh, heartbreak here on the very last! We said it was a focused turn, and Kaiser has been found out. He's desperately trying to get the chain back on here. He's then going to get going, and here come the bunch, and they're going to sail by the poor man! Oh, there he is, stranded at the side of the road! Oh, drama here! Yeah, he's still got another crash, but he, he's up and going. Kaiser's up and going. It's whether he's got enough to continue. As we see, one of the riders from uh, Green Edge just coming off as well. So it's going to be close. Oh. He has got about 50 metres of on. He could possibly still hang on. Come on, Kaiser, for goodness here. sake. It was sights at the side of the road. Kaiser did restring it. Is he going to crash? Get back on board. Restring the chain and bring home the victory here. You've got to pray for this, surely, everybody. Here he comes, side of the road. He's still going to watch it, though. The Chargers are on to him right now with 300 to go. I think it's going to be a huge heartbreak here. Rabobank have busted themselves. They're busy getting this train sorted out here. It's going to be Renshaw for them. Oh, and Pataki goes over to the other side of the road. Oh, they're going to get caught here. He's going to get caught. Kaiser's going to get wound in. And so with just 100 metres to go, 50 to go now. Count him home. Scream him on. We're doing so. Ah, oh, he takes it. Joy for cycling fans globally. What an effort that was! I absolutely love that. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely amazing. I was uh, I had to stand up and just see Kaiser coming in there and oh what what a thing. You don't you don't get many finishes like that and what God. drama. <laughs> and and it, if you, you didn't notice with your excitement there that uh, Cattell actually took the uh, second place, so he was fastest of the, the rest, but uh, oh, oh. just imagine if... Well, <laughs> Elio Kaiser, I've got nothing left look, for tomorrow. Look, look, look at all the front. I think that's uh, James Van Lanshot for <laughs> Accent Jobs. He's so happy. Oh, me too. Me too. I tell you, if you've watched this live today, you, <laughs> I hope you fell off your seat, because I did. That was fabulous. It doesn't get more dramatic than that. Um, I think it was Zykes that had fallen at the same point. Look at this. Well done. Uh, he's going to get the biggest roar tonight at the hotel when he comes down for dinner. <laughs> oh, dearie me. But the thing is, he never panicked. 
you know, he, he just, you know, most people would be like, yeah, I'll maybe throw on the bike away. He fell off, his chain was off, he, he took his time, got his chain, got back in it, and uh, off he went again. Absolutely amazing, and <laughs> oof, what a finish. What a finish indeed. Deary me. Now watch this. This is the moment. We're all, at the, at, at right now, we're just starting to pack up. Now watch the road. What did he hit? What did he get into? Was it just a little bit just of moisture? Too just too tight. Bang, down he goes. We said it was uh, focused. Now then, he looks and we start counting. Right. Look, the no seconds. panic, no panic. He looks, jumps on the bike. Doesn't know the chain's off. Right, chain's off, off again. Still no panic, tries to do it without getting his hands dirty. Decides, right, I'm going to get my hands dirty, put it on. Still no panic, you can just see nice and calm because he'd obviously looked and seen he's got a few hundred metres, still looking to see where the, <laughs> the others are, jumps back on the bike, can't get his feet in, off he goes, oh. and wins by, what, about three bike lengths? <laughs> the King of Cool has just been crowned. He is the Kaiser, aptly named. <laughs> I'm just going to chuckle all evening about that. Fabulous. Well, it looks like we might have to go pretty early. I'm Carlton Kirby, alongside me, Brian Smith. We have loved it today. Hope you have to. What a day of cycling. Well, this was the moment that we thought they were going to catch them, Brian. Yeah, he's guys on the right-hand side. Uh, Cattell just comes straight down the, mid the middle, um, comes past the attacking the right-hand side. Renshaw just doesn't have the speed. Uh, Gardini for Finesse Vini on the left-hand side. So, uh, <laughs> this is a Pataki gets third place. Uh, Robert Forster up there, Renshaw. So, uh, the main uh, riders that, that we thought. But uh, what drama, and there was more drama further behind. Oh, uh, Willie Wood says, sensation. I was screaming for him as well. Tanya says, love the passion. You're all delighted out there. Jewel Phillips uh, enjoying herself as well. For the record, Kaiser takes it. Kittel in second place. Alessandro Pataki, third home today ahead of Godini and Mark Renshaw. Wow, we're going to go and have a lie down. From me, Carter Kirby, and from Brian Smith. You've got to love your cycling, haven't you? Bye-bye.